What's up? It's your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here, and good morning. I just woke up. Warning, I am a little rough around the edges right now, but I just woke up, and I saw how the mainstream media is covering the tragedy that happened yesterday in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and I am extremely upset by how they are covering it. I am pissed off this morning. In fact, they're trying to bury this news story like it never happened, and they don't want to mention who the driver of the vehicle was because it doesn't fit their narrative. Now, if you ask me, I'm going to keep it 100 on this video. Now, they're reporting that this guy was fleeing from a knife fight. Look at my face. Tell me how that makes sense. Please go down in the comments below and explain to me how it makes sense that someone's running from a knife fight in an SUV and decides to plow through a crowd of teenagers at a Christmas party. What, is he being chased by a ninja with throwing knives? Oh, we're throwing knives at your SUV and you're just getting away. Come on, man. In the great words of Joe Biden, come on, man. Really? You think that this guy is running at, high, at a high speed from a knife fight? The police weren't chasing him. There was no vehicle chasing him. So he gets in a knife fight and he decides, oh, I need to run away at a high speed even though no one knows that this knife fight happens and I need to go straight through a parade and crash right into these teenagers. No. To me, it looks like this was a racially motivated, hateful terrorist attack on American soil by a domestic terrorist that associates himself with a lot of different movements that are going on. Why do I say it was racially motivated? Well, upon quick examination of his various social media platforms, he has a lot of posts like this one talking about hurting white people, talking about how much he hates white people. So let's just call it what it is, because if the shoe was on the other foot, this guy would already be called a white supremacist, white nationalist, whatever the hell you want to call him, and this news story would be all over the place. But no, because it's the other way around, we're not going to hear anything about it. After two, three weeks, a whole year and a half of hearing them call Kyle Rittenhouse a white supremacist and run his thing through the mud, now they're afraid to call this what it is. You know, they sat here and tried to convince everyone that Kyle, the Kyle Rittenhouse situation was a racial situation and that he shot black people in this, that, and third, and they got everyone heated up. And now this is a response to what happened. The mainstream media has blood on their hands because with their lies and their propaganda, they influenced this man to do what he did. They can sit here and try to tell you these bogus stories about him running from a knife fight that doesn't make sense. No one runs high speed from a knife fight, especially when no one's fucking chasing you. All over his social media, it's all types of stuff negatively about white people. He has music videos where he's talking about his affiliations with BLM. He has music videos talking about F Donald Trump and different things like that. And you want me to sit here and just ignore all of this? The mainstream media wants to ignore all of this and make y'all believe that he's running from a knife fight. How does that make sense to y'all? And it was extremely frustrating as I was reporting you know, the news last night about the situation and people kept coming in the comments talking about that stop spreading misinformation. Y'all have no idea about anything about a knife fight. This is just speculation that they want to run with because they don't want you to think that this was a target attack, which it very much was. Why was he going around crowds and doing this that third? I don't know, but it was very much a targeted attack. He could have honked the horn, driven slowly. Nobody was chasing this dude. You don't fly high speed away from a knife fight. And this guy has a long rap sheet of tons of charges, an extremely violent guy. He has domestic abuse charges against his mom, which means he was beating his own mom. And you think he's running from a knife fight? Dude beats his own mom. You think he's going to run from a knife fight at high speeds and to a parade? No. No. This was a targeted attack. And if you go on his social media, he even spoke about how you can get away from an attack like this one. He has a post talking about how you can get away from running people over in the street with your car. Oh, but this wasn't intentional. No, he was having a little knife fight. Who the hell has knife fights in 2021? The guy just got off of a pistol, felony pistol charge. You think he's having knife fights in 2021? And even if he did, he probably went... Let me not go too crazy here, but even if there was a knife incident, he probably stabbed someone and then left from that scene and decided he was going to run a bunch of people over. 
It wasn't, oh, let's have a three musketeers sword battle. And then I'm going to run into a crowd of parade goers and hopefully I don't hit anyone. No, no. One of the dude's last social media posts was him being upset by the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. A couple of days later, here he is plowing through a crowd of white teenagers in the middle of Wisconsin. Why do I call them white teenagers? Because that's what they were. I'm not into racial division. I love everyone, but we're going to call things what they are. If they want to spread the misinformation and label other people things that they aren't, like what they've been doing in the mainstream media lately, then they need to label people what they are. Because this guy was an activist that decided to go too far because the media influenced it. And now the media is going to go radio silence on the story. And you know they are. They're going to go radio silence on the story. I woke up today, I got on my Facebook. No one's even talking about this. Why? Because the media didn't run with it. I've had to sit here for three or four days now and hear people talk my head off about Kyle Rittenhouse. But no one's talking about this guy who just killed five people and injured 40 more. So I guess the pedophile that Kyle Rittenhouse killed is more important than the five young people, or however old they are, the five people who lost their life at this event that they're going to try to cover up. But I'm not going to allow that to happen on my channel. I'm doing some digging. I've already found the guy's social media accounts. I can already tell you what's going on here. From the things that I've seen with my own two eyes, this looks like a targeted event. If the guy's sitting on social media talking about killing white people and beating up white people 24-7, and then all of a sudden his SUV plows through a crowd of white people at a Christmas concert, then we got to call it what it is, folks, because that's what it is. It's plain and simple. But the media doesn't want to stick to the truth. But the truth shall set you free. If people would just be more transparent and more truthful, then things like this wouldn't happen. It's their lies and their use of, like, not just spreading misinformation, but holding back information that gets us to where we are right now. This guy probably thought that something totally different happened in that trial than what happened because of CNN. This guy probably thought that something totally different happened in that incident than what happened because of MSNBC and CNN. And now he carried it out. Now he went along and did what he did. And things are just going to spiral out from here. And that's the sad part about it. But no matter what happens, I love all of you. We need to build a strong community here. And we need to come together, all races, all creeds, all religions, all sizes. I don't care who the hell y'all are. We got to come together, people. Because there's some crazy people out in this world. And it's not just like back in the day where, yeah, there's some crazy people out there, but not to know. It feels like basically 50% of this population is just absolutely insane, ready to snap at any moment. And those people left out there with good hearts, who are actually good people, we got to band together and stop allowing them to spread us apart and spread us thin. Because this is ridiculous and things like this are going to keep happening. And I just... It's just sad. It feel like I feel like every time we come together to talk on this channel, it's about another tragedy. Why do these tragedies keep bringing us together like back to back to back to back? If people don't want to like grasp the fact that the whole world is going to shit, I just don't understand. But I'm going to do a little more digging. I'm going to do a little more diving and I'm going to report the real facts right here on this channel. I don't care if they're impolite truths. It doesn't matter. I have to stick to the facts, people. And I understand some people may be sensitive about that and some people may be offended right now. But I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend you. I have nothing but love for everyone watching this video. But facts are important and we're going to stick to the facts. But I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Go to the description of this video. I will have a link to my other YouTube. You can subscribe over there. I have a link to my Twitter. You can follow me on there and a link to my cash app if you'd like to support the channel. But as always, Find some time out of your day to find some real information and stop watching CNN and MSNBC.